be one mind welcome welcome y'all welcome let me turn the music down a little bit for you i'm trying a new playlist from spotify this time we'll see if it's really dmca free they always say they are but then you know you never really know Usually you find out once you upload it to YouTube or you have your Twitch VOD and like half your audio is cut out because uh, you were listening to some new playlist that said it was DMCA free, but it was not. Uh, so let's hope it goes well. During the live stream though, you should be able to at least hear me all the time, always. The camera's a little further back this time. I've got kind of a different computer setup. Let me fix it. How's that? A little bigger. A little more, a little more. I got this new like um, keyboard drawer for my desk. I hate, I think they look stupid, but it's so much better for my shoulders and arms. I've had a really hard time getting ergonomic with this desk here. Uh, one of the stand-up desks. You hear it sliding? Yeah. Well, it's pretty cool. I like it so far. All right, that's enough of the bullshit. Thank you. Baby steps. Baby steps. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let me empty some trash, and then we'll come back over here, show you my screen. All right, we're ready. Maybe just one more drop. So a lot has happened since I last saw you people. You people. Um, I've been, I haven't been streaming, but I've been working on a lot of stuff. So I moved my I forget the names of all my projects. You know what, this is the wrong place. I don't even have them all on there. So I go here. OBS overlays is what we're working on today. Um, I did some design updates, so we'll see those a little bit later. I'll cover those updates last. Mega API was running on Railway and then halfway through the month or a little bit, maybe near the end of the month, they just shut my app down because they're like, you've reached the $5 limit. But I hardly even used it. You know, I used it on stream a couple times, but I haven't used it outside of that. So unless someone's been pounding my server with a bunch of requests, I don't see why I would have gone up there on that limit. Um, so. I've moved it from there to Heroku, I think it was. So swap backends, it was a little messy, uh, moving the database and stuff. Um, but it was an interesting process. I might, um, I mean, that would be a good article for me to write on how to do that. But I didn't take notes, I was just kind of weighing it. So basically you just do a Postgres dump or PG underscore dump from your database where your your old database location because I had to move my database and my deployment they were both on railway so I moved my database to Heroku Heroku is now on well Heroku plus Postgres add-on and then I'm copied the URL from the public environment or from the environment variables and then you can easily import the dump. Um, I had to look up the dump command, I don't remember it, but there, it's pretty easy to find out on there and how to connect to a remote database and all that. But basically just export a dump locally to my computer and then import that to the new one and then I just had to move over the front end as well. So. Um, I just used the same Heroku app and deployed the front end there and then got it up and running. I haven't got the domain working yet. Um, 
I don't know why it's not working. I tried setting it up and it should be working unless it's just a really long timeout, but it's been days now, so it should have been up by now. So that's moved over there. Um, Heroku should give us the free strength we need to keep our app up. This one's been a while. OBS task overlay, I actually did some stuff off stream. I added the ability for, and that one is in here, the ability to change fonts and colors. Um, even though I haven't really done it on my stream, I was testing it out because I wanted, I, what we're gonna work on today is gonna use some new fonts and so that's what I wanted to test out. But in here, um, you'll see I added Font family and font color. That's the new one. So, if you're using that, which I know you're not, but you could be, that is what's running our tasks right above me and on my task commands, um, but you could be using that. It has a new feature there. Next, CodePow is dead. I don't know if you know this, but it's been dead for a while. Markdown Content API is almost dead. I need to reorganize these to like be my most up-to-date projects. Um, warehouse Deals, we got progress there. So I streamed, the last stream I did think it was Warehouse Deals or one of the last ones. Um, our Amazon product price scanner, I got it back up. I've already bought something off of it. I saved 33% off of the brand new price. I bought a camera, and we'll see if I keep it. You know, I just like to buy things when they're on sale. So, it comes tomorrow. We'll check it out, see if we'll keep it, okay? I don't really need it right now, you know, but like, it was such a good deal. That's the problem with this app, is it's too many good deals, and I'm like, oh, that shit, that's a good deal. So, we moved some things around here. It was running on Bursal, interesting. Um, I didn't write Bursal on there, but we moved it back. I need to update this too. Back to Heroku so we can handle long running tasks. I ran into a lot of issues around these free tiers and what they could and couldn't do. I tried a couple things. I'm planning to do a stream on that that will detail all of the information of the things I tried, the architectures I tried, the architecture I ended up with, and uh, how it's working now, and maybe even how we can scale it from there. That would be cool. Uh, maybe I can get Coding Garden to join me for that. He might know how to scale it. That could be just a talking session. So, but he tends to solve problems really quick, so we might just do it right away. I don't know, we'll see. Um, it's up and running again. It's, I was having errors with Heroku for a while and then I fixed it and then now it's working. And so um, I'm excited to have that back up. It's been a while since that's been working. Studybook app I actually used today and I still haven't even shown you all this, but someday we'll either rewrite this or launch it on stream and this should just be taken down. Okay. Um, was there other reviews? I think the other updates were related to this code in here. I can show you what I changed in here. Listening to the right events for that one. Oh shoot! Hold on, I found a bug in my overlays. I can show you some tests of them. Check it out. Oh no, something's just wrong.
Sorry, let me check something real quick. Um, add update. Yeah, I'm not. There we go. A viewer has redeemed a custom channel points reward on the specific channel. I'm missing that one. I'm listening to follow though. Update subscriptions. Oh, for um, OBS overlays also, we got Tau up and running on Railway. So we replaced the old app and now um, Tau is up and running on there. And uh, it will show you. What is this one? You ask for an instrumental playlist, and then they go and throw in some vocals for you. Okay, let me double check something. Um, let's test it. Test a follow. See the new little design? Pretty cute, huh? It's much easier to read, I'll tell you that. I don't know why I left it up like I did for so long. It was more notifications to alert me that something happened than the stream. Um, but let's re-redeem that. Where am I? Chad Dev, thanks for the follow, man. You do the best. Yoink. Oh, that's not the right one. Oh, it's not hydrate anymore. Hydrate level four, please. Okay, well, we'll fix that bug right meow. I'll tell you what. That one's gonna happen in... Chat commands? Event commands. Yeah, so it was hydrate. Now it's hydrate. Level four, please. But then we gotta refresh some stuff. Um, right? Yo, right? Overlays, refresh, and then redeem another hydrate. Hydrate level four, please. There it is. Ding. Okay, bug fixed. But let's look through the rest of the changes that we had. Um, so first I had to add a Tau host to my inf. This was part of the, oh, oh, oh. Well, there goes some shit. Um, this is part of the migrating Tau from my local environment to putting it up on railway. And that's just because I didn't want to run the Docker on my computer every time, right? It's kind of a pain. It takes up a lot of resources, so. I moved it up there to Railway, and then now I just have that all the time. So because of that, I had to have the Tau host now, and that is used in our WebSocket. So you had to update our WebSocket from WebSocket to Web Secure Socket, and then I added the Tau host and the Tau port um, was already there, and then it connected, and we did some more stuff. Um, up in there, and I have some uh, thing to show you. Hey, Brooke Zerker, how's it going for you? I'm doing good. Mm. Um, I actually made a PR and updated their railway docs because it was a little bit out of date. Railways knew they're changing stuff pretty frequently, I guess, so 
they changed the way they did it from like um, just a month ago or something when they wrote these instructions. But basically, here's the instructions on how to get it done. Get it done. And that is from um, their docs. Some Docker fun earlier today, a lot of DCUs and DCBs and DCDs. Those are the commands. Do you have those commands? I made them. Tau and Railway. Railway is a hosting platform similar to Heroku. It, basically the same kind of idea. I think they just use Heroku under the hood and bill you differently. And then Tau is Twitch API Unifier. And this is the service that I use to alert me of Twitch events like follows, subscribes, redemptions, etc. And uh, that's what I deployed it. I didn't code this. Um, this is a project in the community from Finite Singularity. Give you a shout out to Finite Singularity. I hope that's the right one. Help me get Mini Singularity's birthday present. He's made a lot of cool stuff on stream, and this is one of his projects, so. Um, got my name in there, look at that. And it just exposes a WebSocket, and then I listen to the WebSocket for all these events, and I built a front-end client for it, which is OBS Overlays. That's what we're working on. That's what we're adding today. I've been seeing all your videos pop up on uh, YouTube's Almost, how far are you along with your U course? Uh, at Brooke. Brooke Zerker is making a Rust course or a U.RS, which is a Rust front end framework. I'm gonna watch it when I'm done because I need to learn that stuff. But you've been pumping out videos with them uh, with like all the introduction on how to do everything, set up, basically set up a project and get going. So. Hey yo, Jochem. Jochem. Yeah, ready to start the project part? Nice. Nice. Um, what was I doing? We're reviewing these things, the changes. So we added the end, just had to update that. And then I, I don't think, I, did I change my commands? What are you saying I changed? Oh, I changed the text and the um, examples, not examples, the like follows and those kinds of things. I changed the design of them. And I added some more chat commands. Where's, it's not gonna show me like what the diff is. Anyway, I had that new one at the beginning. You see I did exclamation point start and then it kicked off a couple different commands. That one's down here. And I didn't have to add any new functionality for that. I thought I would have to, but I kind of got around it. So when I when I do exclamation point start, only I can run it. It's automatically gonna do the, short, do the shortcuts Discord and YouTube. And those are just, you know, spell out some socials, whatever. And then I do send bot messages to send other commands that need to be actually written into the chat. So task start is one and uh, drop cheddar to cheddar. This one doesn't work. I got to make them gift them a sub if I want it to work, but I don't think I really want to do that. Ched bot. I mean, you're cool, but I don't really want to do that. And to allow that, I had to um, actually add another feature to the task thing to allow you to define custom people who can update the task list. I have the allow mods, but I didn't want to allow all the mods to do it. I, I still want to be the one to do it, and Ched's bot is a mod, but I decided to just name them specifically to be more strict. So. Am I using an observer pattern for my message passing? 
I'm using sockets. So it's just uh, pub subs. I always forget which one the observer pattern is. Is that the same or were they different? Was there any other updates? Oh, well, I want to show you some, kind of some of these other. Um, there's the follower one. We already looked at that earlier. And I did, I did the hydrate. Let's do another one because I want to see it again. And I'll hydrate anyway. Hydrate level four, please. Hydrate level four, please. Looks good. Looks good. So I think we're ready to, I mean, we can add the new sounds, yeah. Or and work on the chat overlay too. Let's do those things. Task next. Okay, new sounds. So it would be within a single app. So essentially PubSub that allows a command to emit a command that others listen for and then execute. Okay, so PubSub is not necessarily the pattern name, observer is the pattern name? Or is observer only within a single app, you mean? Um, I think the, uh, the main thing that confused me before was some framework started using the term observer and it was very different than how I understood it. And so since then, I've been very confused by it. I don't remember the framework. But it happened. Um, okay, adding new sounds. I have a few new sounds here. They are on my desktop. With a lot of other crap. These new 30 Rock sounds. Okay. Um... Source pages. There it is. Sounds. Generally, yeah. Observer pattern strictly is an OOP pattern from the Gang of Four, but I've also played with different ways to implement the general idea in other languages than a pure OOP one. Yeah, I I learned a lot of my patterns from um, the Addy Osmani. I think it was him. Um, JavaScript patterns or something like that. Learning JavaScript. It was this book. I'm guessing it's that one. Yeah, Addy Ansmany. This is a good one. Um, if you have to work in some legacy code, it's pretty good. Uh, it does all the different kind of like, if you've worked with a lot of different frameworks over the time, you can recognize all the patterns from the different frameworks. It basically describes all of those. And so it's kind of interesting to see how, um, the patterns have just evolved, even though they kind of do the same things. But this was a book I read a long time ago when I was a junior dev, and I really liked it. MVC. MVP. To 
Do they have oops in here? Oh yeah, AMD modules. Yeah, look at like modules with different things. Common JS is um, Node, so. There's a lot of jQuery patterns. Plugin, jQuery plugin. Be cool to see a new version of these, um, a new version of this with the, there's been a lot of patterns since it came out. How old is this thing? Does it say when it was released? Two thousand twelve, ten years ago. Time to write it again, Addy. I'll hit him up on Twitter. See what he says about it. Okay. I was moving over my sounds, so I have some for Ched Dev. These are the new ones. <laughs> So good, okay. Um, I don't understand your art, Kevin. Uh, we're gonna name that one art. So first of all, to add a new sound, I mean, we, we wanna move them into that folder, which we already did. But then we wanna go to sound sources. And this one I'm gonna call art. A, P, wait, N, P, Q, R, S. Okay, we're trying to keep this in alphabetical order. And then sounds, in order to be lazy, we copy paste. Keep the volume low by default. So now, when I refresh my browser, I can do Exclamation point, um, S, art. Error. Um, it could be erring. Did I lock down all the sounds unless I was a specific? Person? Where is that? Sounds. Any? No, anyone can play them. Oh, but I did add permissions here, right? Allowed roles. Oh, by default, anyone's allowed. All right, what's going on? Because the other ones, oh, it's in Ched Dev. Ched.dev. Why didn't anyone catch that? Jeez. Sometimes I feel like you guys aren't even watching. No, the sound, yeah, the loudness should be good. So let's hear. That was <laughs> really quiet. Um, let's go with the standard point eight. And see how that volume, oops. That's not what I wanted. So many damn windows right now. I don't understand your art, Kevin. <laughs> yes. I kind of want to go full volume with it. 1.0. And then let's add the next one while we're at it because this is not where I want to be. Miscounted the men, Lemon! I miscounted the men! Um, should that be called miscount? M E I E A B C D E F G H. Yep. miscount um, um, that one might be a little lower I don't know I think I don't record these at the same sound but we'll see I don't 
understand your art, Kevin. I thought Derek was upstairs. I miscounted the man live. I miscounted the man. <laughs> I love that one. I love it. Okay, next one. Rude. Are you going to the mall later? This is gonna be in Ched Dev slash. I need to move these up to the cloud now to my API. I've got, I mean, I got a folder for them up there. I just haven't done it yet, so you know, you know. You know. And this one could probably be pretty loud. Let's leave it out by now and see. Why do I keep going back there? Why do I keep coming back to you? I got some sad vibes. Um, rude. 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 And that one's gonna get a main command because I love it so much. Um, and we'll add it right here. We have a rim shot. Rude. Oops, not rude. Rude. And then the last one. Working on my night cheese. That'll be back in the sound sources. Um, should I say night cheese or cheese? I'll just say cheese. C H E. Um, I'll keep that volume out. <laughs> Autoplay rude every time the compiler errors. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I could get there someday. Tie that in. I'm thinking about tying the sounds into chat more. So if someone says like rude, it will just say rude, you know? I don't have cooldowns, of course. I don't have cooldowns yet. Um, I don't know why I want all of that. Give me all of that. Okay, let's do another refresh. Rude. Rude. And working on my night cheese. <laughs> working on my night cheese. How's that volume? Oops. Working on my night cheese. <laughs> I, there's a background noise of a car driving by because it like fades scenes. It was hard. I couldn't get some of the quotes that I wanted from 30 Rock because um, of the background noises and music and stuff. So I tried to get the baby version of Root where it's, uh, I forgot the baby's name, but the baby saying it, but there was too much background noise so it didn't turn out good. So I went for the OG instead. I think that's all the sounds I wanted to add. By the way, if you ever want to know, you can run exclamation point sounds and see all of the sounds that you have access to. And then if you want to play a sound, you can do exclamation point sound and then the sound name or just S and then the sound name if you want to be short. Um, and there are some shorthands on the top level for sounds like exclamation point clap, exclamation point rude, exclamation point cheese. Oh no, that, I didn't make that one. Um, Stop! Stop! He's already dead. <laughs> Some of these I don't think I've ever played on stream. I thought Derek was upstairs. I miscounted the man lives. 
Like you hear the cricket, fake crickets, and then there's like a bass line going boom, 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 boom. It's like coming in at the end. There was a bunch of music playing right before that, but luckily they stopped right when that happened so I could get it. And I'm keeping them up until somebody complains about copyright notice. Because I think they're great, darn it. Was that all? So that was all the sounds I wanted to add. We're ready to create the chat overlay. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Uh, let me commit all this. Git st git add, git st git ci dash m. Um, new sounds and new commands. <laughs> wow. See, it's so easy to write documentation. I don't know why everyone doesn't do it. Okay. What should we do next? What should we do next? This is gonna take a little bit of planning. Well, this is gonna take a little bit of fumbling. Little bit of planning, most of fumbling. Um, so before we do that, is it stop or end? I wrote the damn thing. Um, I'm gonna do a BRB and I'll take a break real quick and then we'll come back and then we'll kick off that uh, next thing. What do you say? What do you, what do you say? Check out my BRB screen while I'm gone. It automatically ran task pause in case I have any tasks running.
はいおおスト t c h a little bit feel a little stiff I don't know why Feels good to stretch. I had this dream the other night when I was working in this like big tech office. That's all I remember about it. <laughs> cool story, huh? But that's what I remember. Point back. Oh, it automatically starts the next task. Interesting. I wasn't sure if it did. I thought I didn't make it, but that one's a little open to interpretation. Yeah, I do tech stuff, you know, but. This wasn't any of the offices that I've worked in before. So, I'm not really sure what it was a reference to, you know? Oh, I forgot to remove those other comment event ones, huh? No, I guess I left them all. Okay, so what I want to build is basically these new screens down here on my stream. This is a screenshot of my screen, of my stream. As you can see, I look similar. I want to add this chat down below, and then I also want to add the project information and my socials. Um, this. I'm thinking of doing in the as a chat kind of overlay maybe first um, but I really I really just want I mean I need these things for you know to put them up let's do a quick little screenshot of them just to get them up there why does the drop stick around for so long it's just been stuck there I'm going to do it the cheap way. Image, crop. Take out the back. And I'll file, export, export as. Yeah, that's great. I think OBS will support. I have a place for this. Where is the place? I think it's in here. In Ched Dev. There it is. Um, socials, I'll say OBS dash socials. And then in OBS, I will add it. Um, I already have an overlay. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> I forgot if I click it, it goes away. <laughs> Hold on, let me do studio mode real quick. 
Studio mode allows you to do side by side where you can. Um... And in order to, to bring this back, I'll actually just uh, undo. <laughs> That's my old school ways. Okay, studio mode, um, overlays. And I have, I'll add another source image. Um, socials. Okay, browse for the image. Desktop. No, it's not in the desktop. It's in the downloads. Oh, interesting. I can't follow sim links in here. So in that case, it's in here. In there. And OBS socials open. There they are. Um, okay. And those will be locked down there. Cool, huh? Nice and easy. I should have put that up before stream. That was stupid. Oh, man. I'm surprised you guys can see it already on there. Let's lock it there. Leave the Ched dev up. And then um, add a studio mode. And back to real life. There we are, Ched dev. By the way, follow me on Twitter. I say some funny things. But there is just a lot of, uh, actually, the community, the Twitch community is on Twitter as well. So even if you're not a Twitch community member, you could be a YouTuber watching this, you can still connect with me on Twitter. I get it if you're not a Twitch person. That's cool, man. That's cool. No big deal, man. Um... And then what was I gonna do next? Create the chat overlay? No, I was gonna shout out my Twitter for you. Ha! <laughs> no wonder why I don't even have a command. Anyway, it's twitter.com slash, what is my name? Ched underscore dev. Is the person. Ooh, 97 followers. You wanna see my profile? Actually, let's do it in the... There it is, there. There's the link, okay? Let's see what it looks like when you're anonymous. 97 followers, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Catch me live. Um, uh, I haven't read this in a while. I hope it's still accurate. When I post my streams there, stream planning commence. Anyway, that's it. Look at that primogen popping up. He's everywhere. That man's everywhere. Okay, uh, next task, get the chat on the screen. So here's the problem with that, okay? Did I commute or commit all my stuff? Yeah, I don't need to commit that sound source thing either, right? I think I'm cool with that, right? So we're gonna do a new, It's not even just a command or anything, it's a whole new project. So right now I have OBS overlays in this project. And this is the stuff that displays on screen. I'm wondering if I should be running another project for it. No, I don't think so. I'm thinking of what I'm doing is, um, Hey, Mountain Trash Panda, how you doing? It's the VIP. Another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Okay, let's think about this, people. Let's not do anything stupid, okay? Let's 
So let's look in the client and kind of see what we have going on right now. I feel like it should be a command in here, but maybe it's not just a command. Maybe it's like a plugin or something, you know? Like I have sound player as a separate thing. Um, it should definitely be its own handler because This just handles client commands right now. This ch chat's not gonna trigger any client commands, right? Let me close some of this up. What the hell am I press? I can't see my damn keyboard. Because mm, this socket that I'm listening to here, I'm really not listening to the, all the chats. I'm just listening for the client commands. So that's why I'm wondering if, I mean, I was expecting this to get into multiple projects and I think this could be a point where I get to a second project, but this is also, I mean, I have like Twitch chat settings and stuff in here. So. Maybe it'll just be a chat folder within there. Um, I still want it to be in this URL. We'll start with that. Because then I could land on... Let's create a new um, folder for chat app. Well, hey, Dota, good to see you too. If Brooke's here, I gotta follow. Oh, thank you. So, cause then we can still load. Oh no, we can't. Cause if we load up this in a separate thing, it's not gonna be able to access the config, right? No, that's not right. Dora. <laughs> autocorrect. Damn you, autocorrect. <laughs> Let's see. Let's copy this. But this will mean we'll have to add another. This is why I can't decide. Should I make it another page with another source or should I just build it into this app? It'll make the app more complex, but everything will be integrated. Everything will be integrated. I think That makes this get it quite a bit more complex. Let's see. Let's start going down this path and just see how crappy it is. Let's make a decision and do something. Am I right? Um, I'll call this one chat app. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
A mechanical for the tablet? It's probably bigger than the tablet itself, huh? This could be the whole container. And then we'll do a chat app message as well. Oops. So this will be a single message. And this is a notification, we'll say bottom center. We'll rip out this one. And this won't be a regular message, it'll be a chat message. There won't be a title. It will be I'm wondering if I'll share. I do want some styling or different styles based on different scenarios. So I think I'll dangerously set the inner HTML. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Oops. No, not that. I want that. generated in chat slash chat app dot mjs. Chat app message, bottom center is not supported yet. but we will get it up there soon. Um, I might not need this second one, because if I'm just gonna do this manually, I might just create it in there. And this is gonna have the problem of, I'm actually overwriting multiple things right now. Maybe I'll make a new. Canvas. No, because I need the ID because there needs to be like one. So we'll add this for div dot um, sheet. I should start breaking these into apps. Notification app. That will be the default one. Cause then I can do like positioning directly on here, notification position. Cause these notifications are all the same. This is the best idea. I'm just wildly doing shit, okay? And then we'll 
do the same kind of thing for chat app. This should probably be sizing, notification sizing. And then bottom center. Or app position, what does notification position look like? Notification position. So that's like, um, yeah, instead of notification position, this is really just like the safe area. Um, inset position, let's try that. Inset position. This is the only way to do it. Level four, please. Jarrell, thank you for the hydrate. These aren't, oh, these are absolute. Hyphenate. Hey, buddy, what's up? Hyphenate just streamed again today. Watched him earlier. This is my first stream in like a week or something like that. Um. So this would be center, is that right? And then align items, flex end, yeah. So let's change those other weird names from notification position, which we're gonna delete a lot of those, to be bottom right, bottom center. You know, eventually we'll make this usable. It'll be usable. That will now let me get rid of all of that crap so I can get rid of all the wrappers on those since those are all the same anyway. And um, there is no chat app template. And chat message, I mean, So, <laughs> um, Brooke Zerker, yes, I added that one, but it is not hooked up to anything, so it's kind of like a fake thing. Hopefully there's no one out there with 50,000 points right now. I think the only one possible would be Mountain Trash Panda. I'm just waiting for someone to redeem it, and then I will end the stream. It's not automatic, though. Yeah, position absolute is not great. Usually, there's, um, overlays are like definitely the go-to case for it, right? But the other time I do use it is anything that I need to position relative to a certain spot, like all the time, like a, you know, a closing X, or I wanna, yeah, that's usually the other, other case. I mean, even then can be solved with um, Flexbox stuff a lot of times, but for these full screen things where you're taking over the whole screen and you're basically layering things on, it's good. That's what I'm doing here. We'll see if we need these later. I don't think I'll need them because um, I'm gonna grab the chat template, chat app, and I'm gonna bottom center it and then I'm gonna try to... You hear that sound out there? Yeah, status messages that appear temporarily. A cool new one is um, position, not fixed, uh, position sticky. They act, the browser actually supports it now. I mean, it's been out there for a while, but that used to be a bunch of code we had to write a long time ago, and now it's so easy, it's ridiculous. 
All right, see you later, Dota. Thanks for hanging out. Um, okay, let's start writing some chat app code, shall we? What should it look like? I mean, we have the sound player. And, uh, and then people taught you that using position absolute is dangerous because using it once causes us to have to use it a lot. Yeah, and uh, that's usually a symptom of people not knowing how to use it correctly. But, and, and that is the case because people see position when they're first learning CSS and they think it's used for like layout, but it's not really. So that's why you get that stuck in your head. So this was just a plain all object, okay. I mean, I'm gonna copy this and change it. I wonder if you guys can hear that. Can you hear that on the thing? It sounds terrible. Okay. Where's, I guess not where's, I don't need them. Um... So this is no longer gonna be called sound player. We are now gonna call it chat app. And we're gonna make a chat app types. Oops. But maybe I don't really wanna do it yet. Will that still read it? Yeah, I'll do some spaces on there because I don't really want that yet. I'm gonna play with it for a bit, you know, see how it goes. Is not initialized. So in initialize, in this case, the L is gonna be Um, I'm gonna look for ID, chat app. And then we're gonna do const, actually this is gonna go to this dot L equals, it's all jQuery thing, the dollar sign, it's not really jQuery anymore, but it is significant of an element. So um, this dot L, is document dot is it document query why isn't I getting any freaking auto thing here query selector actually I can do get element by ID oh and this is gonna be this dot ID I guess you can pass the ID in there, but right now we're gonna hard code it, whatever. And then it will be initialized. And let's this one's gonna be a little fancier. We'll have to figure out later, but let's just do a render for now. And then this is gonna this dot L dot inner HTML equals We're gonna hard code it in here for now. Cause we're lazy, oh so lazy. Class equals chat app message. Let's make it easier on ourselves though, huh? We'll make a couple messages. So we'll say like, at Chad, oh, these are gonna be, have to be spanned and stuff too. So I'm gonna end up doing spam. Um, and I just wanna do the username, I think. Username. Trying to 
type without looking, it's really hard. Um, That's all I need, right? And this should be um, there. We go. I'll just do that for ease of use for now. So then we can just loop over all of the items. Where will we get the items? How will we get the items? I guess the render would be all of the items. Items, this should really be chat. It's not all chats, it's just items. Um, chat. And this will return. This dot template dot replace. Username with chat dot username. CM Griffin, what's up, man? Thank you for the resub. Did my app crash because I'm working on it right now? Uh, it didn't even pop up. I'm sorry about that, man. It's supposed to be pop up on stream, but I'm working on that thing right now, so it sucks. Message is chat on message. Shout out to CM Griffin. About to launch Mealception. We're getting real close. We're doing some real old school rendering right now. Um, so this should return it, right? I just need to like create it on the page. Um, chat app dot well I'll do it maybe somewhere else I don't know yeah init and then chat app dot render and we'll send in some stuff we'll say username Message. Hello, world. Should we send two just in case? Chad Buyut. Yeah, I saw you working on the marketing pages. I was surprised, like, it was up and I was like, what, this is, you made a full marketing site already since like the last time I seen this thing? Look at you. So 
So this will render the chat. The chat app is not defined and it didn't even complain, which is interesting. Chat app from, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden my thing's not picking anything up. Chat slash chat app. Oops, chat dash app dot mjs. Um, I am exporting things. This should be up a directory. That's probably what failed. But my thing should not have um, rendered. There it is. It's on screen. Let me see if I can replay your... There we go. Oh, it broke though. It's not showing in the right spot. But there's your new message. Thanks, buddy. We'll fix that real quick. Um, that is because in our client, I think we did some basic stuff. We grab the canvas. This should actually be. Notification app. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah, you are. There it is. 13 months in a streak. Wow. It's been a year. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. So now, see how that one updated without clearing out this, um, I'm pointing on my OBS, the thing on the left, my content in the center. Yes. Um. I feel like this should be color white. Here we go. I wonder if it changes the messages at all. Let's do a subscribe one more time. Nope, there it is, it's great, okay. 13 months streak, woot woot. Okay, so let's add some styling for the chat real quick. I could do some imports in here, but to set up something better, of course. But of course, those are my new fonts, PT Mono. I don't know where I got it, but it was on my computer. Inset position. I guess this could be like app. Instead of inset position, it could be app something. Layer, container, I like the term layer. We don't use it as much as we used to. Um, so if I change it there, I need to change it here. App layer, bottom right, bottom center. Cool, cool. Okay, now let's fix our chat things. chat message. It should already be displayed block. What did I write it as? I wrote them as divs, right? Is it because 
the app layer has some specific styling on it. An app layer is flexed, okay. Maybe I should um, flex direction column. Start out that way, like a normal sane person would. There we go. Does that break all my positioning? Dude, what the fuck? Oh no, it works there, cool. So it's just the bottom center, justify content. I feel like Flexbox is backwards, um, and that's okay, but... Oh, this is not rendering right either. See the comma? There shouldn't be a comma in there. Where's... That's in my chat, Zap. Oh. Uh, map. And then I want to join just by a string. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. So just for reference, we're trying to get to this down here. Blow it up for you a little more. change out this kind of rendering technique later, but we're just going to use it for styling purposes right now to get it up and running. Should I rename? Let's do some, let's split out our tasks a little bit. So I'll call this current one P Fundy. Hello. Hello. Task edit. Four. Instead of just create chat overlay, which is a huge thing, let's break it down a little. The first thing we did was um, show chat overlay on screen. We didn't fully connect it to chat, but um, we'll say mock. And then we'll task, oops, I almost said get. Task add um, style chat overlay. Task add, oops, connect chat messages. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to styling. I wrote those new tasks so we can broke it down, broke it down into three different things, and then let's go on to styling. Um, task next. So the chat app itself. I want to um, chat up. Display flex. Um, the flex direction. Flex direction is column. And they're going to be. Um, 
justify content. So the justify content will be flex start. Is that right? I think that should be, I don't know, align items. Let's try that. Now, um, <laughs> it's writing, um, that's weird, I'm writing HTML in there. How did that happen? this out because I don't need that anymore. This one actually can just go. Chat app message we might end up using later on. There we go. Still in the wrong spot though. And that is because flex start. I'm see I feel like the chat app I put it near the bottom. Or I have the, oh, because I have that style directly on the chat app, huh? Let's do another, oh, no, because I'm writing the contents directly in there. Let's do this. We'll do a div class chats container. No, let's call this. Yeah, chat's container. I mean, this could be in the template too, but it's kind of nice to have it all in one. And then we can break back into the templating like that. It's interesting, right? Does that work? And then these styles should go on the chats container and chat app is left alone. There we go. That's what I was intending to do with my styles the first time but I was missing that wrapper. So we just moved it down a level and um, it's good because that main level, this one is positioning the whole app down and center. And then the, now the container is collapsed to its size, the only size that it needs to take up. And then that has the flex properties inside of it to show them left aligned. Okay, we're getting there, we're making progress, we're making progress. So a chat message, there's gonna be um, here in this template. <sighs> chat app message, so this should have a class, I keep doing class name, we're not in React though. We're not in React anymore, Toto. Chat username. I like this playlist. We'll see how it comes through with the DMCA if it's legit or not. Um, chat, 
image. And this is a change too, because it's not always going to be just a username and a message. But basically we want to say a chat username is going to be strong and a different color. Okay, there's chat message. Chat username is going to be font weight. Maybe it's not strong. We'll see. Bold and then color is white. And the chat message Um, I guess we'll just make it. Color is going to be white for all of them. We'll just change the opacity. Opacity is 0.7. We'll try that. Oh, but after the chat username, I do want to add um, chat username. I want to give people full styling capabilities. So after is content, just that. And then I think that's it. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we're getting there, getting there. Um, in my mock, I had the colons, right? Come on, show me the colons. Yes, I do. And that is PT Mono? I sure hope so. Maybe I don't want to bold, let's see. I kind of like it not bold. This will probably end up being a config thing later on anyway. Okay, so the other, there were some special cases that I wanted to have, but should we just implement it? I mean, there's one chat thing I wanna add to. Um, that will be not in chat's container, but brr, brr. This is going to change it. Chat title. So we're going to move these down to uh, chats. Ooh, chats container. Well, that is interesting. should be the chat messages and I'll do that and then here we'll keep the regular flex direction row and we'll justify well align items flex end and then we'll justify the content Flex start, I think that's fine. The idea is to get the chat title. To the bottom left, aligned to the bottom left. So this is just kind of my theme that I'm going with, the little terminal-ish type thing. Um, I do also want to decorate. What? 
Oh, text. Isn't it lowercase? Is this how I do it? Text decoration, uppercase? Is that right? Man, has it been that long? Well, it didn't work. Text transform, right? Lowercase. There we go. Okay, but this is not right. It should be flex direction row. Oh, I didn't change the names in my template. Shilly. And then this all goes in the div class. Chat container. Div, 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 div. Man, I can't see my keyboard. I need like a a light underneath my desk. And chat container. Okay, I think that's it. Yep, I'm just gonna add a margin to it. And this one actually won't be inset. So let's move that style out. Do the app layers position. Inset, client inset, I'm not even doing the real inset. I think what you do is you say inset and it's just that, right? So I can say inset zero by default. And then if it has the inset, it will have the inset. And if it doesn't, it won't. Let's look it up. Is it related to the position value? Is it not supported? Yeah, shorthand for the, all of it has the same multi as margin. So I added the name, right? Inset, inset. Uh, not there. I'm here. I added it to the. I didn't add it to this, but I don't understand why. It's not rendering, or it's rendering up to the top now. Maybe it just doesn't support it. Um, I mean, it says like Chrome 87. Maybe it doesn't work on a flex element. I don't know, but we'll go back to what we had. This will be zero. Okay. There we go. Working again. Okay, but for the title, let's do chat title margin right one rim. What version of Chromium is OBS running? I don't know. And uh, I don't want to look into it. But let's see. If we can't find the answer in a quick search, then. What version of 
Chrome does OBS run? I mean, I'm guessing it uh, 75 as of July 29th, and that's at 87 was when they added support. Um, yeah, maybe they just don't support it in there yet. That's okay. I don't need it. It's not like I needed it. Okay. Um. Is that how I designed it? I mean, it's still got space on the bottom. Why? Is the canvas have space on it by default? No, it's a width and height. Oh, inset zero. I guess it's not working though anyway. Um, I used divs and spans, so it shouldn't have like a margin on the bottom of it. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't really care about it right now. I can position it later. But let's get it hooked up to chat. So now we have that. We have our chat messages. We got that. And then we can deal with the variations too. Okay. Before we start that, let's hydrate. How are we going to connect to these chats? We actually, oh, did you hear that? We actually have to do that from the back end because the back end is what's listening to all of our chats. Um, hello, Odat. How goes that? <laughs> right now, we don't yeah, send all the chats to the front end. Um, but so I think I would expose that actually on a new event and the reason is I want to filter out command chats and um, maybe certain people I could do that on the server side but that'll all be config driven blessedly silent at the moment oh that is nice that is nice. Um, where do we? Ha where does that happen? So, if it's not a command config, I return it back. Or I return early. Oh no! Wait, ignore non commands. You can do it way back then. So all the messages come in, username and message. Let's just start sending them through. How about that? Do I have... Where's the frickin'? I guess I, I just do the callbacks, huh? Oh, there it is, this client emit. Or is this, no, that's me triggering on the same thing. You would like to subscribe to my newsletter? Is that an overlay joke? <laughs> send it maybe it's just this
So this is all the listeners. Um, if the listener has its own property command, or whatever the command is. Oh. Maybe this is it? No. That's the com chat bot stuff. Here we go. Socket. No, this is... So should I make another one of these or should I just run it in here as well? On send bot message, do this bot stuff. Um, but what I really want to do is to on the front end so this sends it to the front end this is my listener this and this is coming from socket listeners what the fuck is socket listeners Command clicked it and it didn't do anything, so I'm trying to find it. Um, so this socket is listening for this command in the command callback. So the command should be Twitch. Chat or Twitch action, maybe. And are those coming from? This goes over all of the commands which were passed in for figuring out how our code works. Which are the chat commands. out that what 
What was the other file I was just in? One of those. Go down here. So this is gonna the socket dot on. I think so. Twitch chat. Then I want to render a new chat. I guess I can always do the chat app dot render. Um, oh no. Just a regular chat. So whenever I chat app render, it's just going to be a new chat and I'm going to kind of um, keep these in line here. Chats. going to this dot chat dot push maybe it'll be something later on um, push the chat on there and then this will be this dot chat dot map so this will get new ones um, I'm gonna add a little if this dot chat chats or chat chats The length is greater than 10. I mean, honestly, I only show five on there right now, but whatever. We'll see if it's, I mean, if they're single line, you could probably fit five. So if it's greater than five, I'm just gonna cut it off. And uh, I'll say this dot chat, chat dot splice zero through One. Okay, let's just unshift. How about that, huh? Because this thing's going to re render for everyone. Okay, so now whenever I get a Twitch chat, I'm going to call render, and it's basically going to. Um, push a new chat into the chats. If there's a new chat, we'll do that. So that will allow us to call render for the first time and then any subsequent Twitch chats, we will render. Okay, so now we need to emit this in that other file. Where was that other? Oh, chat app, no. Into this thing. Why is none of that working? Hello, so.
It's in Twitch chat. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out how can I do it in there? I might have to do it in this thing. Because this is going to listen just for commands. Right? So I could make another command. Command name and aliases. Um, let's say. Commands with socket. Do I need to put it there though? Because this is only gonna run it if it's an exclamation point command. I think I'll just I just want to add another listener. This dot client dot on message because I don't have the socket there, so I can't admit it to the specific. Oh, there's a kitty app I need. This client admit message. it will run the new command. Do kind of a duplicate one for now. And this dot client, oh, this is not the right. It's Twitch chat dot client. On message. I'll say if eh, I'm doing this. No, we'll say clean message. Nah, whatever. the idea of emitting it back on there and then listening it down later. Because um, then I can standardize this. I can say this is probably all broken. We'll get there later. Whatever. 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 Socket dot, uh, I don't know, commit Twitch chat. And then I'm going to emit it with this specific data. I need the username and the message. Tag 
Sam's username and the message comes in already. We'll try that real quick. So this should emit the Twitch chat, which should render it, which should update. I think. Let's see, if OBS crashes. <laughs> okay, nothing happened. Oh no, there it is. It's just really slow. Nice. Um, Hello world. It will support HTML, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta strip that out. real quick before you uh, <laughs> try to do anything crazy. So too slow, oh that too slow. What's a good way for me to strip it all out? I didn't think about dealing with HTML. This is why you don't write your own chat overlay, huh? <laughs> and that have, like I don't have, um, package thing to strip things out. I mean, can I include a package? I guess I could do it on the page. What's a good um, sanitizer? Or just convert to plain texture, really, and sanitizer. You could just only insert it as text without parsing it into the DOM. Like into a text thing. No, I can't see the OBS console, but I can do that. Um, oh, I see, I see. Okay, but yeah. Sin Dev, I love pie. Hello. Oh, what's a good sanitation library, though? input. Oh, come on. I'm not really using Express. Shanatize? I mean, it seems like a pretty generic one. Wait, this is a middleware? Come on. I don't want no middleware. I guess, no, we can't do inner text because we we're kind of rendering it in here, see? How to wear a bust. I've used one on a project, but I don't remember. Maybe not Node.js. Let's say um, Brown, no, Java, 
script. I mean, I kind of feel like the browser should just include an API for this, right? Escape output, says Ben Hoyt. I turned it off, remember? URL encode, well, I want to strip out HTML um, altogether, for sure. And I guess I could use the node package because it is running in the back end here. Twitch doesn't strip it. Just tell me a package, man. Validator? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I could just do two text, but. Um... So. so in that case, I would pull this out. Um... Well, then I'd have to double attach. Hmm. My plan was, yeah, just to show the plain text. I didn't think about that, um, you know, the malicious peoples. some answers just that's weird express validator I actually wrote a package like I trust your package Five million downloads a week. It's, it's true. Wow, it's up to 5.8. Okay, where's sanitize? Bower install validator JS. Bower? What year is this? There's the unpackage. Okay. Where's the NPM? We'll use this one. Just published my first package to NPM recently. I've been working on this library for a few years now. Sindev, congrats. I don't think I've ever published one. I'm pretty, actually, I'm positive I haven't. <laughs> Oh, that says, fun fact, I'm so old. Every time I see Bauer, I think of who's the boss, deep TV cuts. Oh man, I wish these were on stream. Hold on, let me, let me, before you say any more good stuff, let me fix this. Where did I put that code? Oh, I need to, um, in my next app. Is this, which app am I in? Is this OBS overlays? Did I copy it? I did. Yep, I refreshed, there we go. Message replace. It's all redacted, everything.
So before I trigger this Twitch, I want to fix the message. Const um, cleaned message equals validator dot, I don't know how it works yet. Let's import it. How about that? Const validator equals require validator. And then how does it run? His email, his email. Okay. Contains equals is after is alpha. Does this not have a sanitize? Sanitizes strings only. There we go. Escape? Yeah, with HTML entities. That is that good enough? Oh, well, that's cool. I could add like words and stuff too. Oh, you will test it. You will. Okay, test it. Okay. Um, something didn't work because I got no chat. I got no chance. Can we see? See what? You should be able to see it on uh, the overlay. That is where I put it. Oh, you know what? I said emit Twitch chats and then I think I turned it off because I was nervous. <laughs> Oh, I cannot see the output. I mean, like the console. There it is. Chat away. Yay. Is the time in chat when we chat. <laughs> there it is, Brooks Urker, scripting away. Um, it's escaping to HTML characters, so what it means is it converts like a, a write to. Um, and oh, man, and greater than. Oh yeah, your things come through as message. Oh dat, nerd, big brain. Yep, need to fix some styling for that long text. I found a loophole. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm not gonna render the things yet, like right away, you know? Oh, should I just let it take over the screen like that? I mean, I think it looks kind of nice. Nah, 
I do need to fix that. Chat messages max width. Um, I don't know. Let's see, twenty rem, thirty rem. Uh, let's do viewport width. It'll be like maybe twenty viewport width. And I don't have chat saved, of course, so it's. Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I need to set a height too. Here's a really, 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 really long message. So 20, we might want to say more like 40 or even 50. Fifty's a little too far. Unless I move it over some. Text to speech. Oh, that's a premium feature. Uh huh, you did. Oh, well, the new lines don't render normal anyway, because it's not pre formatted, right? I guess I could have. No, I can't do pre formatted visually. And your names aren't coming out. I think it should be display name that I want um, instead of username. Because I want it to display how you have set it to pretty. Also pretty. You built your chat overlay, right, Odat? Display name or username then, maybe? What's powering your chat overlay? And I also want to limit the height of it too. Fresh. It's on hot reload. That's interesting. It's cool. But the style didn't work. Oh, I meant to do that. Oh, you hear that? It's wind. We got big winds coming in. I forgot. Coming in tonight, and then it's going to be here tomorrow. Um, the next project after giveaway overlay is slated to be Sublime plugin that talks to Twitch chat so that it's not a fakey fake. Oh, so you're just gonna stream your Sublime chat then at that point? That's nice. Oh, uh, yeah, that's freaking. So 10%. Do um, you hear that? So it's gonna take some style in here for me to align it to the bottom. The chat container so in the chat messages, I think the chat container, I want to position relative. And the chat messages, I want to position absolute bottom zero. Where's that Zoe? No, it's not Zoe. She's sitting down there. I think that's right. Bottom zero. 
Oh, and I also want to overflow hidden on the container. The bad part is that I like to hide notes behind the overlay and I can't do that if it's a real window. Ah, that's a good idea. Didn't even think about you like sneaking it back there. Um, that character, ooh, what is that one? Is that like a delete thing? Oh yeah. Did my music stop too? Did you hack me? Oh no, it's still playing. Just paused. Or not paused, but. Yeah, what is that character you sent? He won't send anything else after it, right? Interesting. One other sanitized things we gotta do. I guess I could just do um, also whitelist Unicode safe. Oh, my styling is wrong. Good point, good point. So, I, I broke it. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Um, yeah, let's not overflow hidden yet, just to see what's going on. So that looks terrible. It's a scamp. Is that a musical thing? What's up with my styles then? Oh, this needs to have a width and height maybe? Because the inside contents are now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this should probably be on here. Right? Um, and it shouldn't be max, it'll just be width. Width and height. There we go. So it's got some more width to it. And there's some junk. Um, chat title, instead of margin right, this can also be a position absolute thing. Um, let's see, transform, translate x, negative one rim. It's getting breezy out there. I think it might be more, I mean, it definitely will be more. So let's say like four, three rem. I typed three instead, so we're just gonna go with that. Um, yeah, let's try that. A little better.
margin left is um, let's say ten. Oh, sorry, ten. No, ten rem. So I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe only like a height of six rem. That's definitely, oh, I hit the overflow. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Except for where's my chat mess? Oh, because I put it outside. Um, let's see, padding left. Or maybe I don't need to do a padding left, but um, instead of transforming, let's go back to that. Um, and I wonder if I get rid of the position absolute and the chat messages are align items flex end. Will that be right? There's no chat thing. That's because the translate is there. Okay, there's the chat thing. It's a little screwed. Um, the chat title, I want to say flex shrink zero. So it should never shrink. Okay, perfect. And then you do want margin right one rim. Look at you using the word flex in places and understanding what it does. Hashtag expert. I know, right? I'm not so good at grid. Flex is pretty easy um, and very valuable to understand. Grid is not. Look at that cut off. It's a butte. I wonder why there's that extra space on the bottom. I'm fairly sure it's kind of a hose. Yeah. Oofal oofal. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Definitely didn't align them right. So that is not align items I want. Flex start, and this should be flex end, right? Or is that fine? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that's lined up. Are you trying to make it take back that flex spurt comment? Because I'm not gonna. Hell no. I'm, I want it. I'm for it. I'm all for it. I'll take it. Flexpert. Nice. You're on fire tonight. Cool. I mean, I feel like there's going to be a lot of holes in this that we have to fix. First one, let's see. Let's double check. Though I am kind of proud of that pun. You should be. That was. Afton's pun. I kind of like that it's all plain text too because um, it's kind of supposed to mimic, you know, like a terminal ish feel. Uh, so you don't get to see the emotes. You got to tune in for the emotes. Someone could flood the chat, but, um, you know, I can prevent that in the regular chat. 
Image embedding? No, of course it doesn't do image embedding. Twitch chat doesn't even do that. If I wanted it to go that far, then I would, um, I would have installed a pre-existing thing like Stream Parrot is great from Seam Griffin. Uh, that will do image embeds and all kinds of stuff. It's got themes built in, a lot of cool things. Now amber colored and some scan lines. Yeah, oh, I gotta be able to change user colors and you know, I'd like to highlight somehow. So what are you doing? Come here, come here. Highlight if you're like a follower or subscriber or whatever. And messages from my bot, I want those to come out differently. But we haven't done that yet. Um, mainly the goal was to get chat on there. Is there anything else that people can do to hack it? Oh, I wanted to test. Um, okay, that's not working. Why is that not working? I just tried to replay a action and it didn't work. Let me see. Not there. I want to search across for Canvas because it's the notification app. wondering if my thing broke because are you going to handle deleting messages not yet not yet yeah that was the other thing about ban stuff I mean you know you ban someone and then it deletes all their old messages but I think I'm gonna make a command to clear it instead to keep it um, easier and quicker. It doesn't do bad with filtering, but Twitch does automatically. So Twitch has auto mod, which should, I mean, I don't know if I have it turned on actually. I might not have it turned on. Zoe wants to come in, guys. There's the cat. Come here. Come here. Um, yeah, show messages caught by auto mod. So I guess I do have auto mod enabled. Twitch auto mod is garbage. Um, and I can prove it? Okay. I tried to use the word but in my, um, I mean, I can say but, right? I tried to use the word but in my go live message and it said Twitch auto mod will not allow this. But why are my other things not showing up? Meow. does work. None of these should matter, right? No. You think I have it off? We'll see that. Uh, I don't have an exclamation point today. Here's a little bit of information about the overlays that we're working on right now. Link to it and stuff, but we're basically adding chat. We just added chat. It shouldn't show exclamation points in there. I forgot to filter those out. That was one thing I wanted to do. And also filter out like chat spot and stuff, but I'm getting a little tired tonight. I think I might just 
call it there and work on some of the other features off stream, but Um, but I do want to know why my thing is not working, notification app. Um, that one should work. Did you hear that? It sounded like someone was knocking at the door. Is it the styling? No, because it didn't even play the sound, right? Wee! It wraps to the next line when you got the long text. Um, let's update the width of it a little bit. I think it should be a little wider, right? text when it wraps or what? could be no connected and listening for events yeah there it goes I don't know why it wasn't working Oh, auto mod, because you can just kind of like troll things. Stealthy CM Griffin. Hydrate level four, please. Hydrate level four, please. Okay, so it fits in there decently. I could make it go all the way across unless there is a specific message, but that's not really how it's set up right now. Check the text between your overlay and Twitch chat. It appears differently. Watch, okay. Let me look at OBS because it's more real time. saying crap I'm watching too <laughs> I don't see it happening is it, you mean crap backwards is that check the overlay 
Um, you mean like run and overlay? You're not typing what? Park. What do you mean you're not typing it? Well, they look the same to me. Is it something on your computer that's changing it? On my overlay, park and park. See how it comes up this Twitch displays something else. Oh, are you talking about like emotes? It doesn't support emotes, so yeah, I have like chatted. And then in my Twitch chat, you can see the icon, but then it comes out as plain text on there. If we don't have access to that emote park for some reason, um, otherwise, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about either. I don't see a difference. I wonder why there's this bottom padding. Are they BTTV emotes, maybe? No. Did they fix it? I don't see it. Um, are you on, you mean like on your, on your computer or phone or tablet? What do you, is, is that a specific, do you have to be on a specific device to see it? Ah, oh, specific. It used to be you could type a specific character and get around the bad word filter by typing it backwards. That's interesting. A special character that would like flip it, like right to left and stuff too, maybe? Doesn't look like it's there anymore. That's interesting though. That was a bug that they had. I never knew that. I should filter out the task things for sure. throughout those messages. Hi. Uh, Farewell chats, including lurkers. Oh shit, Callow's lurking? Hey, cool man. Didn't do the exclamation points, which is good. 
a lot, a lot more later, but we're ending it now. So we got the chat actually up and running. I thought it would be a little harder. I mean, it definitely is not the ideal implementation. I'm gonna refactor this to be something better. I know you can't see my screen right now, but um, I'm gonna uh, refactor this to make it more better. I don't know what yet, but we'll figure it out later. For now, let's go check out someone to raid. Is Kalo going? I don't think. How do I get back to the software and game and development channel? Do you hear my cat rummaging through shit? A lot of games, Ludum Dare this weekend. Google changed their interview process. Let's get it. Making an NFT. Open source system programming. All right, we're going to check out this guy. Algorithm from Yuri Blaze. He's a random, I don't know him. Thank y'all for hanging out. Thanks for trying out to uh, break my chat. I'm surprised it didn't crash the stream at some point. We did good. Brooks Ferris, Brooks Cool, cool, cool. Um, but let's go read them, check them out. And thanks for tuning in. Ooh, I have a new end task, which talks about my Discord and my YouTube. And I didn't make a Twitter <laughs> command yet. I gotta make one. But there they are. Check them out um, to see when I go next. Go live next. I will see y'all next time. Okay. There he is. All right. Right now.